So I'm here with Jim, who's going to show us around the drones and tell us a little bit about how they work. So Jim, why have we got drones here today? Well, we've we've got drones because we can do um, sort of radio radio measurements with the drones, um, which would be very very difficult to do, you know, by sort of any other means. Um, what, what we've done in the past is we've used vehicles with masts, um, and we've got several vehicles here. And the highest mast we've got on a vehicle is um, 20 metres. So if we, if we want to do any measurements higher than 20 metres, we would have to use a drone. Um, we've got three basic types of drone, or well, three types. Um, we've got the um, Mavic, Mavic Zoom drone, which which has got a camera, a very high resolution camera, uh, which we've used for you know, taking video shots. Uh, we've used it to look at, look at antennas. If there's a very high antenna somewhere, we can fly the drone up to it and, and we can sort of inspect the cables, inspect the connectors, see if there's anything broken on it. Um, very easy to fly the drone. Um, good duration, probably about half an hour or more. Yeah. Um, so, that, and, and that will fly in pretty much any weather actually. So okay. it's, quite, it's quite a good. So uh, the next drone we've got is our um, is our flame wheel. Um, nice. This one's got a few more legs than the last one. It has. It has. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's that's a quadcopter. This is this is hex. It's, it's got six. 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 Yeah. Um, what we use this for is actually training, training our pilots, um, and also we can actually test out if we're going to um, plan a course plan some kind of um, campaign, this controller is actually identical to the controller used on the bigger drone. Mm -hmm. So what we can do, we can actually put the course into this, fly this round, because if there is an issue, th this is much cheaper to repair. <laughs> um, and then from training perspective, the, the thing we can do with this drone, that we can't do with the small one, is we can actually switch off the stabilisation. Okay. So, if, if I'm flying a drone, if I let go of everything, it will just stay there. Okay. They're really stable, they've got GPS stabilisation, they've got various sensors built in. But what we can do is we can actually switch off some of the stabilisation. Mm -hmm. um, the idea is that, should it fail, the pilot must be capable of actually bringing back the drone yes. without the stabilisation. So, one of the things you do um, for, your, for your test is... Um, you, you actually have to take the drone into the distance, spin it around, and then bring it back without mm -hmm. without the stabilisation. This is the um, Matrice 600 Pro. Um, yeah. It's huge. It's huge. It's got uh, it's got three three separate systems. Okay. So if you imagine the training drone has got one one system. This this has got triple systems. So. If one system fails, you've got two more systems, okay. so it, it's very secure. If, if you've seen any any um, any films on TV where they use uh, drone drone. drone footage, this will have been the one they use. Oh really? Oh yeah. So this it's got a camera drone. on the bottom. Or this one hasn't. But, this one hasn't. But normally, if you see them, they've got a, hand, you know, a, a big camera like the yeah. one over there. On. So what we've got here, we've, we've actually fitted this. This little tray, and we can actually slot some of our measuring equipment in there. Yeah. And then we can actually put various antennas on, so we can actually go up and do and do measurements with mm -hmm. it. And then the actual equipment itself that goes in there can record the measurements. Oh. So we send it up, and um, sort of classic case is um, if we've got TV antenna, uh, if we've got any sort of antenna, and we don't know what the pattern of it is. We could take it to the test range, we could put the antenna up, we could transmit a signal, and then we could fly this round, recording the pattern, and then when it's finished, we can actually see how, how the signal radiates around the antenna. And what it is, because basically these are designed around filming, um, if, you, if you tell it to treat the object you want to record, as, um, as a point of interest, it always points the nose of the glider at it. Exciting! Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm excited. That's it. Ooh, it goes quite fast. Oh, it does, it does. Okay. 
That's it. And then if you just pull it back, it'll come back towards us. That's it. Oh, God. <laughs> it does stop with, yeah. <laughs> it was quite a sudden stop. Oh, it does, it does. <laughs> that hasn't bleeped, actually. Well, let's not risk it. No, this no. Cool. Can we wave at the camera? We can. <laughs> <laughs> the things we do. <laughs> if you um, right. So, if to land it, yeah, just that stick, yeah, pull that stick back softly, and and it'll land itself. So don't don't touch any other stick. Just pull that stick back. Just hold it fully back. And when it gets near the ground, it lands itself. Look. Whoa! How good is that? That's so good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's incredibly clever, incredibly clever, and it's got, as you say, it's got sensors and things. So, if you if you're flying it indoors, yeah, um, and it wouldn't it wouldn't have GPS for stabilisation. It can actually use a picture of its surroundings, because because people fly them inside buildings, you know, like if, they, if they've got a big building, they want to say film the inside of something. They they can they could use it. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Just incredible. How much is one of these? Uh, not a lot, actually. I think it was about 1200 1500 But there are sort of smaller, cheaper ones. So, yeah, it's got all these sensors. Sensors there. Yeah. Sensor. No, this was... It was actually pretty easy to fly once you showed me the, the mechanics behind it. Yeah, that's all right. And the camera definitely made it easier. <laughs> once yeah. I figured out, I could just use that. Well, the, the other thing as well, if you go to the map view rather than the camera, you can see which way it's pointing as it's yeah. flying around. Oh. So that does, uh, that, that does, does yeah.